Okay, so uh, basically, this is the final part to complete the big five. I mean, uh, Bryce and Zion are two of the big five. Capitol Reef, Arches, and Canyonlands are the other three. So, uh, I mean, there's lots to offer in Utah. I mean, you'll see quite a difference from what you've seen on the uh, the, the uh, Arizona Utah trip. Uh, there's quite a bit difference. You'll see more arches, more deep canyons, quite a few different things. Um, so we have uh, we we fly into into Grand Junction. So I'll explain a little bit about the flight and such because you'll be looking after your own flight. Um, we just found that uh, what's happened in the past is we need 10 people to make a flight work and I'll already be in the US. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just can't, and in some cases, what we did on some of the national park trips, we actually paid for the for the 10th flight just so we could get a group. It's not really a group rate. We just got the group uh, group uh, benefits, which would mean we could pay later. No so, caller, no caller. Second here, sorry about that. Turn my phone off here. Uh, so anyways, uh, so we're going to start in Grand Junction. We'll fly into Grand Junction. Uh, and then from there, our first drive will be to Moab. So uh, we've got some options in Moab for hiking. Uh, you know, by the time we fly in and we get settled in Moab, we'll probably do uh, a sunset hike in Moab. There's so much to offer in, in, that, lo in that spot. Uh, so uh, I'll just go through the itinerary day by day here. So day one, obviously, would be, you know, flying into Grand Junction, getting into Moab, getting settled in Moab, and we would find a sunset hike. Uh, day two, we've got about a, a, about a two and a half hour drive. We're going to do uh, three. Uh, one is Valley of Gods, uh, which is a bit of a, a bit of more of a driving thing. We're going to drive the, the Valley of Gods. So it's very much like Monument Valley, very big, uh, big uh, hoodoos. Uh, and then, you know, we get down to on the, the picture on the bottom left is Mexi hat. Um, so a uh, you know, Mexi hat's pretty, you know, more, you know, ceremonial. I mean, as far as, uh, as a lot of things, but, uh, our hike will be, uh, at, uh, the Moki Dugway. So we're going to hike in through the canyons. Uh, so we'll probably be, you know, it's a three hour hike, uh, there. I mean, obviously the Valley of Gods is a bit of driving, then we drive to Mexi Hat. They're all very close. And we look at Mexi Hat, but our hike will be at the Moki Dugway. Okay. So we'll be out for about three hours, uh, probably 9K, 10K with about uh, 800 feet of elevation. Uh, so we'll try to plan uh, to be there for sunset. So, because they're so great. Like the thing with, Ari you know, Arizona and Utah, I mean, the sunsets are, are spectacular. So we'll try to plan that day to be close to that. Um, close to getting the sunset. Uh, day three, we've got uh, Gooseneck State Park. That's the bottom, the picture in the bottom right corner. It looks very much like Horseshoe Horseshoe Bend in Utah, but this thing is is Jurassic. I mean, it's huge. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of hiking at Gooseneck Park. Um, our hike is going to be about uh, about three hours there, about ten k. And uh, we'll probably have about four or 500 feet of elevation there at Gooseneck. Uh, from there, we're going to drive through Monument Valley and we're we'll stop at all the lookouts. There's quite a bit of uh, things to see in Monument Valley, but you've got to travel between the, between the monuments. Uh, and again, we're going to get sunset there. So that's our plan is to get the sunset uh, in Monument Valley. That's on day three. Uh, just maybe just to, to, uh, uh, Container. I'm gonna. What we'll do is, uh, you know, when you, if we go back to day one, when you fly in, we're gonna actually stop, get some lunch, have some snack, get, pick up some snacks. Uh, every day is gonna be kind of the same routine. Some of you are familiar with it. You know, you get up, you uh, you have breakfast, you prepare your lunch, and then uh, you pack up your bags, and we're in the car. So you know, Moab's one day. Uh, you know, then we've got the Hat Rock in. Uh, well, day two, if I go back to day two, we've got uh, Hat Rock in is two nights. So we've got one night in Moab, two nights in uh, in Hat Rock. Or what we used to call this is call it Mexi Hat. That's what it used to be called before. It's just Mexi Hat. Um, and another night. At, so we've got two nights at the Hat Rock Inn. Uh, so, you know, every morning you get up, 
you know, have breakfast, prepare your lunch and pack your bags and in the car and we're out again, out for the day. Day four uh, is Hanksville. So when we come down, when we come down, uh, I'm just going to let Sean in here one sec. When we come down to, uh, we've got about, to get to Hanksville, we've got about another two hour drive. Uh, it is spectacular for the sunset. Uh, so, I mean, our day is going to be Capitol Reef and Capitol Reef is, is uh, my new favorite park. I mean, I like it as much as Bryce. Uh, so we're going to do a lot of the arches, a lot of the hole in the walls, like the picture on the lower right is the hole in the, hole in the wall. Uh, and then we're going to do all the arches and all the slot canyons in Capitol Reef. So we're going to spend the day at Capitol Reef and then we're going to go to Hanksville for the sunset. So we're going to do, our hiking is going to be probably four hikes we're going to do in Capitol Reef. We're going to go to Landscape Arch. We're going to go to Hole in the Wall. We're going to do some canyons. So we'll do about four hikes there, uh, you know, ranging around three to four K. Uh, and, you know, we'll drive to different aspects of the park. It's actually quite a large park. But our, our goal is to get in position and at Hanksville for the sunset. And we actually, it's up at the right corner here. That's where we stand right in there to get the sunset, the, the top right corner photo. And we are going to stay two nights in Hanksville. Okay. So just because everything is fairly concentrated, I mean, all these, you know, like on day, you know, the earlier days like Gooseneck and Monument Valley and Mexi Hat and, uh, and the Dugway are all very close. And on this day, you know, Hanksville, Capitol Reef um, are, are fairly close. So we can, we need two days to get in Capitol Reef. It's, there's quite a bit to see. Okay, one second. Okay, so next day would be, uh, this is something, not many people go to Escalante Staircase. Uh, it's a little difficult to get to. Uh, it's a, it's a, maybe a 17 mile dirt road to get in there. Um, but we're gonna do Calf Creek Falls and we're gonna do the staircase. Uh, it's a series of slot canyons, waterfalls, arches. It's it's got it all. I mean, to me, it, it's not a national park. I mean, it's it's a, a state run park, uh, but it is uh, actually it's a preserve. But it's beautiful in there. So I've I've always liked Escalante Staircase. So uh, it's very big. It and a lot of it contains a lot of things. Some things we can't get to, like for instance. Escalante encapsulates everything from Kanab, Utah, right up to Capitol Reef. So it's a big, big area. And I mean, there, the wave is in there, Coyote Gulch is in there, Buckskin Gulch. So there's all, there's, there's so many hikes in there, but some of them you need to do backcountry to get into. We're going to do the ones that we can, we can actually drive close enough and hike into. Uh, you know, this is Parson Arch. The, the middle photo there is Parsons Arch. We're probably going to be walking. Uh, that's about a four hour hike for us. That'll be a little longer hike. Uh, Calf Creek Falls, which is the one on the right, that's going to be about, uh, that'll be about an, uh, a 4K, 5K hike round trip. Uh, and then some of the other slot canyons aren't very long at all, not, aren't very big at all in the waterfalls. So we're going to spend day five there uh, at Escalante and Calf Creek Falls. Uh, day six is... Uh, I mean, day six would be one of the, the best little hikes that I've ever done is actually a uh, little horse. And you see the picture on the right, very tight, tight slot canyons. Uh, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a uh, little horse pass. Now, it, everything is very close. Like we've got two nights in Moab. So everything is really close. Like Moab's close. Goblin Valley's close. I haven't, we haven't got a Goblin Valley on the itinerary, but we are going to go there because it's very close to Little Horse Pass. Uh, and uh, this is a big day. So we're gonna have to break arches into two days. So uh, the, the middle picture here is an arches that's called Double Arch. The one below is called Delicate Arch. That's the one you see on the license plate. That's the one that's really common. Um, everybody goes there and it, it's gonna be busy. So we'll get there early. So we'll get there early. Now, arches is at one of the new parks and what they're doing these days is called timed entry. So the night before I call in a time, I, I, I book a time to go. Okay, so that's why we've got two days at Canyonlands, or sorry, at, at, uh, at uh, Arches. So the, the night prior, I phone in and 
most times, you know, that's the earlier times are always open. So we're going to try to get like an early day in at Arches so we can do delicate arch and have it all to ourselves and get some pictures before it gets very busy because Arches is a busy park and they try to throttle the, uh, the admission. They don't want too many people in that park at a given time. So this is a big day. So Little Horse Pass, uh, I've got Dead Horse State Park, which we're going to stop. And that, that's we're probably Dead Horse State Park. We're just going to do is the lookouts. We're going to do the lookouts there. Arches is where we're going to be hiking. We've got about a 14K hike to do that pretty much takes us through 11 arches. Like you'll see a lot of arches. So, uh, you know, and then we're staying in, in the Canyonlands in, in Moab. Uh, so that would be day six. Day seven, we're going to go to Canyonlands. And again, it's got a lot to see there. Uh, we got a, bu a busy day because we're actually going to take a Jeep safari uh, to Hell's Revenge. And we're going to do that for sunset. So we're going to hike Canyonlands during the day. And we'll do all the arches, all the canyons. We'll do all, all everything we can get in at arches. It'll be a number of hikes, uh, a number of short hikes, lookouts, summer lookouts, summer hikes. Uh, but our big adventure would be around, you know, 4 35 o'clock. We're gonna go, we're gonna drive back into Moab and we're gonna get into a, a 10 seater Jeep. And uh we're gonna go do Hell's Revenge for sunset. So uh, that'll be a big treat. Uh, I've done a number of Jeep Jeep tours in Moab. So this is the one I wanted to get. Uh when I was there uh in Canyonlands last year, or year, yeah, last year. I drove down, I drove my pickup truck down, down into uh, what they call the Schaefer, Schaefer Trail and drove back to Moab through the canyon. Uh, it's just, it was pretty tough on my truck. I mean, obviously we're doing something quite a bit different, uh, but this is a pretty, uh, pretty, I'd say gnarly, uh, gnarly Jeep trail that we'll be on. Okay, so it's a company that looks after us and they'll take us out for the sunset. Okay, that's on day seven. Uh, day eight, we're back to Arches, you know, because it's just so much to get in. Uh, again, I want to be there for sunset. Uh, you know, I want to get a good, you know, some good pictures there at uh, at Arches. And we're not far, like Moab isn't, sorry, Arches isn't that far from Moab, and Moab's not that far from Grand Junction. So from J Grand Junction, Colorado. So uh, we're going to a good day in it at, at, uh, at Arches, and then we're going to head out towards... Uh, Grand Junction, Colorado. Uh, and on day nine, we're going to do Colorado Monument. So last time, uh, Andre, when we were there, we just we just drove through Colorado Monument. This time we're going to hike two or three sections of it, okay, of Colorado Monument. And then we have our flight home. Um, I'll go back a couple of... So this is, again, this is our, our loop. You know, we come in at Grand Junction all the way down to Mexi Hat, Valley of Gods, and up to Hanksville, Capitol Reef is there. And then we get up to Green River, we've got, and past there, we've got Arches, uh, Little Horse Pass, uh, Dead Horse Nash, or State Park, and uh, Goblin Valley. So we've got quite a bit of, quite a bit of stuff in there to see. Uh, and then I'll go through the, I'll go through these here. So what's happened, the, you know, we've, we've really struggled with inflation in the U.S. right now. Uh, so we don't have the flight in this price. Um, you know, we tried to do what we could as far as making things economical. Uh, it's just, it's just, it is a bit of a struggle in the U.S. right now. Um, so it, it, the, the flight isn't included in this, in this price. Uh, and You'll need to book, again, you'll book your own flight. Uh, we'll give you the parameters. There is a connection because you're going to fly into Grand Junction, which is a smaller airport, uh, but it's very close to Moab. So uh, the problem is there's really not a lot close. We couldn't fly into Salt Lake City, Utah. It's too far. You know, we thought we could fly into Salt Lake and then pick up a hike before we hit Capitol Reef and start at the top end and do it. But it's just too far. There's nothing around Cap nothing around Salt Lake City on the south. I mean, that part of Utah is is, is pretty sparse. Uh, everything's in the in the middle, in the middle right, in the lower, lower central. 
So you will have to get your own flights um, in, in that respect. Uh, so we've got pretty much like the other trips, it's, uh, you know, we've got, uh, you know, we don't, we don't cover the flights in this, but obviously every tran you know, transfers, I'll have a van, I'll have, uh, you know, uh, clementines and bananas and water for the whole trip in that van. Uh, you know, we go out for dinners, uh, you know, there's lunches are provided at every hotel and, uh, we're out for the day. I mean, pretty much every day we're out for the day. Uh, and we'll try to grab, we'll try to get the sunsets. Uh, this is a little different. Like when we were in Zion, the, you know, there was one place to get the sunset and Bryce had lots of opportunity. You know, the Grand Canyon was different, but you know, we're, we're going to get more, try to get more sunsets here. Uh, not too much sun rises, but more sunsets uh, in uh, in this trip. Uh, so this kind of, you know, there's things that aren't on the itinerary that I can add, uh, you know, considering we've got, you know, we get some time. Uh, I'm going to be going down there uh, probably in, in, I say, October, November. Yeah, I'll probably be down there in November uh, to go through some of these and tighten up some of the hikes. Uh, because I've done, I've done, like, I've been to Moab's like lots of times. Um, Hanksville, it's been 10 years since I've been there. Capitol Reef, I was there last year and Arches. So a couple of things I need to go have a little bit of a run through. So I'm going to do that in November of this year. Uh, I'll be down there for that. Uh, and we're talking, we're, we're looking at moving the date a bit. Uh, if I go back a couple of screens here. I guess I didn't add that screen. Okay, I didn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've got this trip, the, uh, what's that, March 31st to uh, the 6th. Is that correct? I think it is. Mark, you've got it March 29th to the 6th. Yeah, March 29th to the 6th. Okay. So we're thinking of moving it to the 12th to the 22nd. And we've got a number of reasons for moving it. Um, you know, we're just, we're having... Like you, we'll have we'll update you within the next week. In what that month? Are, what month are you talking about, Ian? Uh, we're talking. Say? We're talking April. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. We're talking about moving it back a little bit into April. Okay. Okay. And it won't be too. I mean, it'll be get warmer down there. I mean, Utah, you know, does get warmer, but it's not like you know Phoenix in April is awful. But uh, you know, Utah is pretty good still. You know, I, I, we're just going to move it back a little bit. Uh, sorry, Ian. Yeah. Can you can you re repeat the new dates? Do you mind? Sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm of uh, April twelfth to the twenty second. Is that over Easter then, or no? Is that right after Easter? Uh, I don't know when is Easter here. We just we haven't really worked out the logistics of it here. I just turned my phone off. I don't have it in front of me. Uh, Easter is the twentieth. Oh, Easter's the sixth. No, this. Oh, I'm on twenty twenty five. Sorry. Yeah. East. Okay, Easter is is the is the sixth. This is sorry, is the twentieth? Yeah, April twentieth. Okay. I've got it here. Oh, you do. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Well, we just the the problem I had is is uh, it conflicts with something I'm doing, uh, and it's uh, so I I can't like I I I got to I'm I'm kind of committed. Uh, to something, but it, it kind of got dropped in my lap. So, anyways, I'm going to be busy with that. Uh, so, we are looking at moving the date. So, I think we'll 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 reach out and and come to a consensus there. Uh, but I don't want to move it too too much later into April. Uh, but uh, that's that's the date we were going with, 12 to 22nd. Okay. Does that have to be during Easter? Easter is six. Easter yeah. Twenty first. Twenty first. Oh. April. April. Yeah. Yeah. So they said, who was it, Sean, or was that you, Tom, that said it was? Tom, me, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's, well, the, the the weekend of the 20th, that's what I got to hear. Is. Weekend yeah. of the 20th is Easter. Okay. So does that make um, you, you hotels know? more expensive, yeah? Or? Yeah. Well, it, it's not going to be, it's going to be a little more pricey for sure. What I'm, but I mean, we're not, we're not rolling that forward we'll, we'll eat that but what i'm thinking is maybe i can move it up a little bit maybe if we leave midweek and try to stay away from that week um yeah. i don't want to kill 
even flying in and out that people are going to be heading back and that kind of stuff for Easter as well. So even yeah. travel is a little hard to fly on Easter, Easter at that Easter, time. Easter, either way. Yeah, you're right, Tom. Okay, you know what? We didn't. We only made this decision today. Uh, you know, and again, it's not cast in stone. I think I'm going to have to give this a little bit of thought and see what I can move because my commitment ends on April 5th. So the from the from the 29th from uh, March 29th to April 5th, my commitment is done. So uh, you know, at any time after that, I'm available. Uh, so we'll have to see if we can move it up a little bit and uh, if we can make that work. So let me let me I'll get, I'll get back to all of you everyone in in that regard um to see what we can come even up with. Even if you move it up like a couple of days there like maybe the 9th or the 10th. Yeah. We come, we're we're yeah. The that 9th might, be a hectic travel day but we're coming back that day so. Yeah, it might not be too bad Tom, I agree. Okay, well, I didn't think about Easter to be honest with you. So now I mean glad you brought that up uh Andre so. Okay, um you know, I mean, there's not much more to add. Um, you know, we tried to, like, I've, you know, I found that, you know, uh, you know, travel in the States is, is, is been, you know, we, we, we noticed when we did the last set of uh, the national park tour, we realized that things were getting pricey and things were getting difficult uh, just logistically. You know, the, a lot of these places that we're going here, Arches is very popular and Canyonlands is popular, but I mean, Hanksville, you know, Mexahat, Valley of the Gods, uh, you know, all those things, you know, Little Horse. I mean, they're not busy. They're not busy places. They're kind of really nice niche areas. Um, but, you know, we know how to handle, you know, big parks. Like we did the same with, you know, Bryce and Zion are very bu busy parks too. And we were able to navigate that. So uh, again, we're just hoping to, you know, I mean, we've got, it's, uh, it's, it's a little less driving than, than the Utah trip, because I know when we did uh, Zion to Nevada, you know, we broke up, we broke up our drive with uh, Valley of Fire. So we don't really have big, big drives here, you know, uh, and we're staying two nights in most of these locations. So it gives us a little more time to, uh, you know, get set. Well, I mean, not that we're getting settled, it's only two days, but at least we've got, we're still not, we don't have a lot of commuting to these hikes. I mean, we're all very close, but you're going to see different land masses. Like, you know, with the national parks, you've seen the rocks of Sedona, you've seen the Grand Canyon. You know, you've seen Antelope Canyon, you know, Horseshoe Bend. You've seen a lot of different types of rocks, you know, Bryce and Zion. So this, again, is the same. I mean, but this is more landforms like arches and, and canyons and slot canyons, tight slot canyons, lots of groove rocks. So this is a whole different look than uh, what you've seen in the past. Okay. Uh, like, I don't have too much more to add. I mean, I will be prompt and get this... Uh, settled as far as uh, uh, picking a date here. Um, I mean, we've always historically, yeah, I'll have to look at that. I didn't see it. You caught me right, Tom. I didn't think about Easter. So we'll give that well, some thought. We'll be moving up a couple of days. We'll be coming, like if we come back before the Good Friday thing, even on Good Friday, it's still, we're still, still, having, yeah, still a big travel day in the States. Yeah. Still so. a big travel day. Okay. Well, leave it with me. I'm going to come up with something and I'll reach out to everyone here. Um, you know, in the meantime, uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, you know, you can go ahead. I mean, um, if you have any questions in that regard. I know Elizabeth. Stops where you're going to stay. Like I missed the first part. So um, do you, I don't see it on a meetup. The places you're going to visit. Yeah. Well, we got, I'll just go here. I'll just show you here, uh, Elizabeth. So we have, like, you're looking at where we're staying. Like, like we've got two nights in. We've got one night in Moab, two nights in uh, in Hat Rock, which is further down, and then we've got uh, two nights in in U Hanksville, Utah, and then two nights in Moab. Okay. So we, instead of you, my other trips, were basically just one night. You know, I think we had two nights in Zion, but the other days were just uh, one night each day. So, I have been recording this, so I'll have the recording available for you, Elizabeth. So. Uh, that's not too bad. So I'll have that available for you. So uh, I'll give it some more thought on this date and come up back, mm -hmm. come back to you with it and uh, and see what we can come up with. Can you share the presentation? Yeah. You just, yeah, just so I can book it out. So, yeah. Yeah. What I'll do, what I'm going to do, Tom, is I'll, I'll, I'm recording this now. 
Maybe what I'll do is I'll just uh, stop sharing here for a second. I'll just click on the record button. Uh, stop the recording.